Hello my dear friends and welcome to another Marine Engineering video by Adventure Story Channel. Today my dear friends we will make the late injection simulator. The late timing injection. And I will remember you to join the BIS platform and I will leave the comments down below. So join Adventure Story Channel also there will be discussed our games there and we will play together. So let's start our simulation. Quickly, quickly, I will do the simulation and I will go again to number one cylinder because I like number one cylinder. So late timing will be activated. Let's put it to 80% again or you like less. Okay, let's put it 60%. Okay, so we have done also the late ignition and late time ignition will affect differently our engine this time. As you know, the fuel injects after a long degrees after the proper injection so how we will explain that let's say if the injection must take place somewhere here and here it's the top dead center before the earlier we have here somewhere this is earlier okay we will make it a e and here let's say four degrees after uh, the top dead center this is a normal injection and the late injection is somewhere here let's say okay and we will see the degrees what the difference of degrees later so the first thing that we see is that we have increase of the exhaust gases and the exhaust gases here on the outlet Inside the cylinder, we have seen that the temperatures will be lower and lower uh, quite enough on the cylinder cover here, but not for the liner. For the liner, it's much more increased than the other one. So let's see. Let's find together all the liners temperature and see them one by one oh we have one alarm okay we have cylinder liner temperature increased also high but not so high same before so before we have okay my dear friends before we have a cylinder cover temperature now we have cylinder liner temperature and we will explain the reason for that. Okay, we have, we have temperature also here problems. As the fuel remains after the piston is going down, let's say, let's draw our piston in somewhere here, okay? Already injection initiate it but our piston it's going down it start to going down and our nozzle here still continues to sprain okay as the the piston going down here still we have spray and all this fuel will be unburned here all or not unburned totally okay but will continue to burn slowly and slowly and this will give the heat to these components here to the liner and this is really bad because this can make a corrosion to our cylinder here and will destroy uh, our cylinder liner surface which as we know there is grooves also this can make a problem on the surface of our piston in the both cases of early and late but late it's uh, 
as we can see, will reduce the life of cylinder liner, the lathe. The earlier will reduce the cylinder head components. So we do not like to have this both uh, effects on our engine. In any case, we do not like this. So 390, it's really, really high for this kind of engine. It's really high temperature. And also our, our liner is on the limit. Let's see what else we can see from our diagrams, our pressure angle diagram here and we compare our number one cylinder with number two cylinder. Okay. As we can see, we have okay from the degrees here almost here it's same and after that we have a higher pressure let's see also what i have noted here so let's see also if get 60 percent let's put it 90% if we can make increase it more let's say we have a lot of late uh, timing of ignition let's see how this will affect okay the temperature go higher higher and this cylinder line will also higher so in our diagram here, we have also higher per max. Not so much, but we can see the difference that something is going uh, wrong. We can observe that. Also here, this is the difference. And as you can see also, we have in kilowatts, okay, we have same pressure. Uh, same kilowatts pressure of compression is same let's see the degrees the ejection degrees is same what we have the difference here per max also the same tough ignition Okay, one alarm here, what is that? Okay, deviation, we have big deviation because we increase it really, really high. But the other thing that I see here, uh, it's the angle, the degree of ignition of number two cylinder, it's 5.25 degrees. And here we have 3.04 degrees. after top dead center but it's supposed to be differently so let's make also this difference oh we have one more alarm uh, we have slow down per warming we have slow down per warming so we need to go here direct to the bridge control and we need to slow down over right here we do not like override we have slow down per warming okay we will reduce that also and we have main engine cylinder liner piston ring alarm so we have piston ring alarm number one so what is going on let's check our piston rings let's check them here So which was under alarm? It's number one. Let's see number one. Okay. And what is the alarm? Okay, we have probably we have overheated uh, our piston rings due to the high temperature of the liner. We have a improper cooling of the piston rings and 
for a long time of working this will be a damage to our uh, rings and our rings will be broken uh, piston rings so here as you can see the movement uh, reduces and this is the most work case because for replace our piston rings as we know we will need to make overhauling of the engine and here it goes as you can see uh, we have get our limit already and check from the other piston rings where they're located okay the normal it's here the normal it's here and what we have we are going already below we are going already below uh, the alarm much much below so the late the late time ignition will make more damage to your engine than the earlier ignition and really really my dear friends sorry this plays a really really big role because as you can see we have a high uh, degree of difference of the temperatures we have 411 degrees maybe our uh, rings already <laughs> totally damaged uh, as you can see before we have not move of our uh, ring and this simulator was made to show what exactly going uh, inside main engine as you can see uh, we still have ring ceiling here we still have ring ceiling but maybe if we, we run our simulator for a long time, our ring ceiling also will be reduced. Let's compare it with number four. Okay, it's around same, but we do not have ring movement. So let's see again the diagrams here. What have changed because we have increased our uh, late ignition. For sure the ignition will take for a longer time and this one shows also that we have a higher pressure and long time because uh, as you can see here we have our point our maximum point here and takes from here okay there is more time that our ignition take place so let's see again our engine what's going on okay we have take it to the limit let's see also what is going on here with our uh, pumps okay nothing's here mostly the damage now it's number one cylinder and let's see again compare with other okay that is it and really really check the temperature okay check the temperature as you can see also my dear friends what we have observed here that all the exhaust gases have increased and mostly have increased the cylinder that is closer to number one as you can see this is higher this is less higher this is less less and we have a diagram something like that which is uh, what this means this means that one moment i will see what alarm is that we have our shaft input speed going down okay shaft generator auto control it trips main engine serious damage okay we have our serious damage to our main engine main engine trip okay as you can see we have work for some minutes okay the simulation take place in 14 minutes we make damage to our main engine it was so quick 
also our turbine generator goes down because we do not have the production of uh, steam anymore we have also main bars uh, frequency low alarm and let's see also what is going on here so next we have okay we will stop okay we have more alarms and what we do not have ah we have only one generator running so quickly quickly we need to set okay we have trip of some pumps because we have only one generator running that's why the pumps uh, was trips uh, was trip yet and what is that main engine will boil pressure inlet and engine bearings uh, pressure also going down okay auto chief shut down okay we will make that one acknowledge 440 pump control failure okay all the arms coming okay we are still not in blackout we have our generator running and we will start also one generator to supply our vessel uh, with power okay we will start okay let's take local Boiler steam pressure, okay, going down. Okay, now we have a total shutdown, okay, purifiers, everything will come on a alarm. Okay, we have all, mostly of the machinery stripped here. Okay, we'll go to remote again, a lot of alarms. Okay. Let's see uh, what is going on with our fans. It will be trip or not. Let's see our fans here. Okay, engine control. Disconnect it. Auto. Auto. Charge generator. Okay, we will reset next it. So we need to establish our second generator for safety. And after we will need to recover. So now our generator will go on the grid and it will supply. And we will share also the load because it's in auto. <coughs> atomizing steam pressure low. Okay, if atomizing steam pressure is low, you can change it to air, to supply of air. But as you can see, my dear friends, we make a lot of damage to our engine. <coughs> so I will stop that. It's really interesting situation, but uh, for sure must be avoided for any reason. And that's why it's so important to check uh, the engine and monitor the engine at all times. If you see some serious problems, it's better to reduce the speed uh, for catch some time and save your main engine because you have only one main engine uh, to work. So, I'd like to see also if the fans have trip, only this. Okay, we'll go to the main page of process overview. Okay, here. Oh, the engine room fans is working. Okay, some of them uh, is trip. And where we have almost alarms, our main engine. 
self generator boiler and purifier let's see here okay separator but something is going on here okay maybe the simulator uh, it stacks sometimes for some reason okay as you can see the late injection make to our engine bigger problems than earlier uh, timing injection my dear friends always monitor your machinery and have in mind uh, the manufacturer manual to follow the proper uh, values if you see something different uh, from the normal condition try to fix it and work your engine on the best way for me adventure story channel here and to all my dear friends bye bye thank you that you have watched see you soon again